Good morning, Mary Seed of Wisdom. Today is Tuesday, May 26. I hope that everyone had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Today is the feast day of St. Philip Neri, a priest and teacher who is known for his happiness. One prayer that he is known for is, let me get through today and I shall not fear tomorrow. He died in 1595. We have a few birthdays to catch up on today. Friday, May 22nd, was the birthday of fifth grader Luke H. Saturday, May 23rd, there were four more birthdays. Isabel M. in grade three, Robert T. in grade two, Andrew G. in seventh grade, and Nicolesh in pre-K three. Sunday, May 24th, was the birthday of Max S. in fourth grade, and Brendan M. in pre-K four. Sunday was also third grade teacher Mrs. Romano's birthday. I hope you all had a wonderful birthday and a lot of fun. May is certainly a month filled with school family birthdays. We have two more birthdays to recognize today, Marissa D in fourth grade and Alyssa L in seventh grade. Happy birthday to you both. I ask you now to join me in a prayer to Mary. All month we have been praying to Mary. Today I ask you to join me in, the, in praying the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Let us pray for all the coronavirus victims, and for all essential workers and first responders. Let us pray for Lucas K., Jordan B., Mrs. Calcagno and family, the Encinares family, the Campos family, and the Santoyo family. Let us pray a prayer for our second graders who have to wait to make their first Holy Communion and to Deacon Pat who has to wait to be ordained a priest. Let us be thankful for our families and friends and sunshine and beautiful weather and our health and happiness. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And that's it to the, for now. Make today a special day for someone. And remember, journey with Jesus, the attitude guided. Have a great day, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, and I hope you all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I had so much fun Friday night with the staff and the faculty, the priests, seminarians, Andy, Pat. Oh my goodness. Thank you, eighth graders and your families for coming and attending our parade. It was absolutely phenomenal. We had fireworks, we had candy, we had yard signs, we had t-shirts. We had the Park Ridge Police Department come. We all waved, we blew kisses, and I thank every eighth grader and their family and my phenomenal staff and teachers. A wonderful job. We even had a bagpipe player. Thank you, James. You are so talented and made the day extra special. It was such a fun night and now I want you to stay tuned for a prayer special by our bagpipe player for our eighth graders. We're thinking of you and James is too. Stay tuned everybody. <laughs> Hello, Mary State of Wisdom. It's Seminary and Andy again. And as we continue to move towards the end of May, the month of Mary, what a beautiful way to honor her is, and, is a way through song. Last week, Father Jerry, Father Tim, Father Derek, Deacon Pat, and myself participated in the 8th grade drive through parade, and it was a lot of fun. It was a beautiful Friday evening for it, and it was great to see families and the graduates come out and have some socially distanced fun as we celebrate our graduates. And with that in mind, I'd like to offer a prayer for the graduates, offering my own congratulations and using a prayer to Mary. Last time I came on this broadcast with Miss Dew, I talked about Mary as the cause of our joy, but she's so much more than that. She's the mother of Jesus. She's the seed of wisdom.
She's the queen of all saints, and she's the queen of the rosary. And so with that in mind, the prayer that we end every rosary we say with, the Hail Holy Queen, I want to offer my congratulations to the 8th graders. Know of my prayers for you and my support as you continue to grow, to learn, to achieve, and to become the person who God made you to be. And so we pray the Hail Holy Queen together. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Virgin Mary, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Congratulations, class of 2020, and go out and set the world on fire.